How to adjust your Acousto Optic Modulator by AA Optoelectronic. Your equipment. For the setup you need. One Acousto Optic Modulator. One Radio Frequency Driver. One 24 VDC power supply. One external modulation input signal. And necessary cables and wires. Your supports. Refer to each individual test sheet provided in your parcel to get full specifications of your product such as power supply, current, modulation input voltage and impedance. Go to AA Opto Electronic website in order to download your operating manuals from the reserved access space. You can find your ID and password in each test sheet. Contact AA for any assistance. Installing and cabling. Install your modulator on a metallic plate. Make sure to use adapted screws. You must be able to rotate the modulator for incidence angle adjustment. You must also be able to move up and down the modulator for height adjustment. For accurate adjustments, you can use rotary and translation stages. To start, connect modulation input signal to the SM connector or DB15 pin. Connect power supply to the DC filterer through the DB15 pin, and connect RF output to our modulator. Switch on power supply and modulation signal. Adjust convenient voltages. Your system is ready to operate. Preliminary adjustments. Be sure that you have the correct polarization state at the input of the modulator. You can use for instance a polarizer in order to verify the direction of a linear polarization. Make sure that the laser beam diameter inside the modulator fits to the aperture of the modulator. If necessary, you can use lenses to collimate or focus the laser beam to the desired diameter. First Visual Adjustments First of all, enter the laser beam right in the middle of the aperture hole of the cover. Make sure that the laser beam passes through the modulator without being clipped by the cover. Fine Bragg Angle Adjustment Adjust precisely the Bragg Angle in order to maximize the intensity in first order. Keep in mind that you can select for isotropic case either the positive first order or the negative first order. Do not worry if you see several orders of diffraction at the output of the modulator. They correspond to the superior orders such as second or third order. Use a power meter or photo detector with an oscilloscope to monitor the first order intensity. Height Adjustment Adjust finely the height of the modulator so that you get the maximum intensity in first order. Finalize the Bragg Angle Adjustment and fix the position of the modulator. Radio Frequency Power Adjustment 
With a screwdriver, turn the power potentiometer located on the front panel of the driver and optimize power level to get best efficiency. Operating the system. Connect your modulation input to an external signal generator. You can vary the shape of the control signal from triangle to sine, to square or any random analog signal. You can also vary amplitude and frequency of the signal. Laboratory driver. Connect lab driver to the wall plug 110 or 230 VSC. Connect RF output to modulator. Connect your modulation input to an external signal generator. Switch on the button. The green LED must be on. Then push the switch to external position. You can vary the shape of the control signal from triangle to sine, to square or any random analog signal. You can also vary amplitude and frequency of the signal. With a screwdriver, turn the power potentiometer located on the front panel of the driver and optimize power level to get best efficiency. If you push the switch button to CW position, then you do not need to connect an external control signal. The driver is operating in a standalone mode. In that case simply use a screwdriver to adjust front panel potentiometer and vary power and intensity in first order beam. We thank you for your confidence. For any further help, please contact our technical support.